Hello everyone. Welcome to the session Navy Materials. And in the previous video, we discussed about the mechanical properties of the engineering materials. In continuation to that, let us look into another properties already I have discussed in the previous video. What are it? What are the mechanical properties? And what are the requirements of the material? And what selection of material? How the properties and the cost and whether it is available and um, what are the properties required to discuss. Okay, coming to the mechanical properties, as we discussed, as, as already I have discussed in the previous video, what are the mechanical properties required? Stiffness. The strength. Strength means strength is divided into strength. In strength means the ability of the material to withhold the applied load. How much it is resisting, then it is called as strength. Strength is divided into tensile strength and compressive strength and shear strength. Now, coming to the another mechanical property is stiffness. Stiffness. See, in the strength means ability of the material to resist the applied load. Okay? See, if there, if there is a load, see, let us assume this is the one iron piece is there, one iron rod is there, one we are applying load of how much it is resisting, it is called strength. Okay. Then what about stiffness? This stiffness means ability of the material to resist deformation or deflection under load. Strength means it should withhold the it should resist the load only. But stiffness means even after applying the load should not deform, should not deform. So up to when, how, up to which load it is resisting, it is called as stiffness. Without deform, deformation means it should not change its position. If I want to pull like this, it should not change its position. So that is deflection. Without deflection, how much it is uh, resisting, it is called as stiffness. And next, elasticity. As you observe in your daily life, the rubber pad. Rubber pad, what is what is the property it is having? Elasticity. When you pull, it, it, it uh, changes its position, it reaches maximum and if you leave, it re uh, regains its original position. That is here, elasticity. Ability of the material to deform under load, under load and return to its original state. So what happens if you pull your rubber band, immediately it regains its position. Next, next the mechanical property is plasticity. Plasticity, what is the difference between elasticity and plasticity? Elasticity means when you pull it, it after applying the load, it becomes some certain load, and then if you release the load, it regains position. But whereas plasticity, if if you make a load, it regains, it deforms and does not return to its original position. Means our original shape is called of plastic to deform non elastic without fracture. Without fracture, it should not get fracture. If it is fracture, means it is failure. Okay, that is the plasticity. Now, coming to the ductility. See, ductility, ductility means, as we discussed in the previous slide, tensile strength means, tensile strength means, for example, there is a hook which is to an arm and some load is there, it is, it is carrying a load. So there will be tensile strength. So when we are, this is called as tensile strength. Now after applying certain load up to which it is resisting, it is called as tensile strength. But so after few, if, if the load is increased, there will be some deformation. Some deformation. Even though this is iron rod, if I, if I pull, if I, it is fixed with one rod and if I pull continuously, if I pull continuously, there will be little deformation in this iron rod. So, that deformation is called as ductility. See, to be, the ability of the material to be deformed plastically without rupture under tensile load. So, if you pull, it, it should not Without rupture, it should come. The best example is, see, for example, your gold ornaments are there. 
whole ornaments actually it, it, will, it is arrived in the form of biscuits in the form of biscuits what they will do they will do duck lid only in presence so they will do the operation called as malleable lid sorry while drawing so here this is a biscuit now there will be small hole from this it is pulled it is pulled so that comes in the form of wire comes in the form of wire this is called as ductility to be deformed plastically so before the shape of the gold is this much but after when it pull it becomes in, in the form of thread one is gold other is copper and silver these are the example of ductile materials these are the example of ductile materials in this doctor what we have to do in ductile materials to be deformed plastically without rupture under tensile load so this is a biscuit and a gold biscuit now we are pulling this one gold material downwards actually the shape of the gold is in the form of one rectangle but we need this shape so when see let us assume this is this is as gold by it is above some surface but after pulling what happens it comes in the shape of this rod this is called as ductile material even copper wire so this in your home the copper wire also is an best example of ductile material now malleable malleability malleability means exactly opposite to ductile ductility means it is for tensile loads the deformation occurred in tensile loads tensile means what is a what is a tensile load if you if, if if you operate a load there will be some load acting on the rod this is called as tensile load and if there is any deformation this is called as ductility and what is the malleability malleability is nothing but as we discussed before normally uh, compressive compressive strength is what compressive means if there is a object and you are applying a load on it then there will be a compressive strength of the load similarly if you want to make a wire drawing similar process to small hole but applying from outside this is applying a force here load but in this we are applying a load from the top so we are hammering we are hammering for example in blacksmith if you know the person who is making blacksmith what happens this material will be heated and he will keep heating on it so that the shape of the this material changes for the required shape if there is small hole then it becomes in the form of this rod this is like the shape of a spider that you this is the diameter is more and he is beating from outside applying compressive load then it becomes in the shape of this small this is also called as malleability malleable to deform under compressive loads the ability of the material to deform under compressive loads next next the mechanical property is toughness toughness means toughness what is toughness absorb energy up to fracture during plastic deformation see toughness means let me give you an example for example this is a rod i have fixed it to certain base now if i want to hit with some certain load sudden or a sudden load but what happens here if i keep a sudden load what happens if it breaks easily if it is break easily then it is called as brittleness this is brittle material but if i keep hitting but it only bends sudden if i keep a sudden load but without fracture it only bends then it is called as toughness the ability of, of the material to absorb energy up to fracture during plastic deformation plastic deformation means it should change its position from one to other but without fracturing if i load absorb up, up to which the it is acting up to which it is absorbing the load energy up to fracture during plastic deformation up to which it is act, uh, absorbing resisting it is called as toughness of a material next brittleness means as i have discussed
such before only if i hold a material and if i keep a sudden material sudden shock or a sudden load on it then what happens immediately if it is break it is a brittle material or else if it just bend means if it is deform then it is called as tough material or else brittle material next next another one is creep strength creep strength creep strength means let me explain you see for example if you if i if i say a task so to hold a duster like this or else any object on on your book like this for one minute okay it is stable for two minutes it is stable but after for after up to one hour can it stable no the pen will be acting on the hand okay this is called as the continuous the continuous load on a on a solid or a anything this is a perfect example of creep strength so up to how much time up to how much time it can hold this is called as creep strength creep strength for it this is a best example in your home there will be a extended surface to keep your uh, whatever the materials are there that is a creep in like this this is the extension in, in the in front of your home there will be extended pillar so that it continuously holds the load without any support this is called as creep strength next next is fatty fatty strength what is fatty strength fatty strength is something called see for example if you want to see this is the rod if i want to break it easily i want to break it but if i want to pull in the same one direction whether it will break no if you repeat that side and this side that side that side in your home I already you have observed there will be a j wires or a small wires iron wires if you want to uh, if you want to break it what you have to do upside down upside down upside down you can do immediately it breaks so the repeated the repeated load forward and backward forward and backward if you apply a load the repeated load then it is called as fatigue fatigue strength okay these are the some mechanical properties me me mechanical properties are uh, which which are acting on the materials so what we have discussed in this video in this lesson first the mechanical properties is stiffness stiffness is same as strength but strength is to resist the load which is acting on the object but here stiffness means the ability of the material to resist to the applied load it is called as strength whereas if there is a deformation okay first if you apply load what happens there there won't be any deformation that is called as strength whereas if there is a deformation in this then it is called as stiffness up to which it is resisting without deformation is called as stiffness elasticity means it is nothing but pulling a rubber band and regaining its position it is called as a elasticity elastic material means regains its position and elasticity elasticity is nothing but it is deforming the shape but without fracture and it cannot be regained its original position this is plasticity coming to ductility it is plasticity without rupture and enzyme load as i already discussed here it is an example of copper wire gold etc if you are pulling a gold from a glow surface it will be tensile load and without any rupture it should come in a smooth way so that the wire should not break this is called as ductility ductility is an example of tensile load if you apply tensile load then it should become there is uh, without rupture the object should it is coming then it is called as ductility and if you if you apply from here compressive loads and then the material obtained is called as malleability okay to be deformed under compressible toughness what is toughness observe energy up to fracture during plastic deformation plastic deformation so as i have discussed here 